In this tutorial, we will see how we can use maps in LabVIEW. Maps are collections. They consist of two items, a value and a key associated with it. They can be set by users. Usually the key is a string and the value is a numeric and we will use this default uh, value in our example. In this uh, tutorial we will create an example where we will provide a text to our code and the code will go through that text and find out the number counts of each word that is used in the text. So let's go and create a new VI for our uh, mapping map collections example code. Let's uh, first save it. Let's call it using map collection. Let's first place a text string control in which we will specify a string, a text that we will be counting the words in. Then we will have a map. Let's place our map. This will give us the counts of uh, the words present in this text. Let's give this uh, string a name. Let's call it um, a word and let's give this a label of count. Let's hide these. Next we will have uh, another text box, a string indicator to display the same value here as well. but we will display this in a string. And lastly, we will have an array of strings. where we can specify words that are to be ignored from our uh, algorithm uh, for counting over here. So we are now done with creating our front panel. So now we can go and start writing our code.
So let's go and write uh, the code. Let's correct our spelling for count. So we will be using a while loop to go through our text. In this text, we will be going through each word using scan string for tokens. Lab view function. I'll provide this string to it, and we will be using this offset to move through the strings. And we will initialize this value to start from right the beginning, which is zero. And we will be replacing it with the shift register. And if the value is less than zero, which means that we have gone through all strings which are separated by uh, the space uh, token and not equal to zero we we'll use for this uh, use cached delimiter if the iteration is not equal to zero then use the previously used token by default which is uh, uh, space so we will be going through uh, this uh, uh, we will be adding these values to a map and we will use uh, function called in place map access. Let's place it here and let's create a constant and we'll use this constant. Let's add a shift register. We pass through this, we will be adding strings to this map. Let's connect the map and we will add to lower lower case so that our strings become case insensitive. So we'll pass these to the as the key then we will increment the value and we will update it. And for the action we will use add or modify entry. Next, we would be using words to ignore
array to parse through a for loop so we'll pass this array words to ignore into a for loop and we'll pass this map inside let's convert it to a shift register and we will use a function called remove from map so any item that we pass that is present in this array will be removed from this map next we will iterate through this map in a for loop each item at a time we will use unbundle by name we have already given names to the map items we call it word and value so let's open those up and we'll use format into string function format into string and we'll pass this string and word and the value both of them we will convert them into into a string followed by a colon followed by space then we will convert this number and followed by a new line so we will create our generate our string replace it with a shift register we will build this string we will initialize it uh, to an uh, empty string empty string constant and then we will display this formatted string into this indicator and our word count map will go into this let's convert it into an indicator and we will display our word count in this indicator let's clean the diagram up so we are done with uh, our coding So let's go and test our code. Let's specify a string. Um, And let's add some repeating words. 
and let's run our code. So we have used A six times, code one times, uh, lab view one time. and lab you followed by a dot one time so let's remove these these dots uh, the decimals uh, let's see how it affects our code uh, our counting and let's remove let's say space it means used one time uh, let's move uh, a so it's been removed let's move uh, is run the code again is has been removed So as you can see, uh, our code is working um, quite well. And uh, this is how you can use maps in your programming. Hope this helped you. And uh, please keep visiting the channel for more LabVIEW programming related videos. Thanks for watching.